Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is 1,780, and this is titled, Literally, Read Through the Lines. The thing I find so interesting about this is how we, the reader or listeners, are seeing the story behind the movie. So we see a little piece of the actors and their roles and the storyline of the movie, but what I find so intriguing about this is the way feelings form while making the movie. An Oscar-winning actor is losing his cool to a newbie. I'm so fascinated with this that I decided to actually make a story about the movie. So stay tuned for that. In the meanwhile, five, four, three, two, one, action. <clears throat> literally read through the lines yesterday we had a read through with all the actors he was sitting right next to me his cologne so rugged and masculine i can't believe that i stuttered over my lines how embarrassing especially when he's a newcomer and i have an oscar he was able to deliver perfectly the producer and the director asked if i was all right i apologized and promised tomorrow i'd be on my a-game that day I went home and practiced my lines over and over again from afternoon to night until they were memorized. Then I looked into the mirror, whispering, you got this, and went to bed. The first scene was in the woods on a camping trip, the camper man focusing, following us. Him and I were on a canoe with fishing rods. So basically, the movie is about these two boys that became the best of friends and Boy Scouts as kids, and they reconnected years later. One is married to a woman with a family of his own, and the other is an out gay man. He comes out to him, and slowly but surely, they begin to have a romantic affair. Cut! It's a wrap for the day. Excellent work, the both of you. See you tomorrow. He was about to get out of the boat when he pushed me, and I pulled my hair back, laughing. As the crew left on the stage, I looked at him. Curious, what made you take this role? Did you think landing a gay role would give you the chance to be nominated? He put his hand on his chest where his heart was. Heartbreaking, especially coming from my favorite actor. I slightly punched him on the shoulder. I'm just playing. He nodded his head and looked at me. Honestly, I got the call for the role. This was my big break and I grabbed onto it. I smiled at him and said, good for you. Days on the set went by and our friendship grew for him. For me, I was just falling more and more in love with him. Even He even brought his wife and kids to the set. That was a big uncomfortable for me. Reading the lines in my tent, imagining what it would be like for a boy to live in a broken home, hiding his sexuality. Obviously, I never had that problem. My mother welcomed with me open arms. It's not as extreme as his backstory, but I close my eyes and get into character until I hear an unzip in his voice. Are you ready for a big kiss? I opened my eyes and turned his way and gave him a weird look. What? He laughed. You did read the script, right? You know there's a kiss between us. I laughed playfully. I did. I just didn't think it would be that qu this quick. He shrugged his shoulders. I think they're trying to move it right along. They wanted to push the release for the movie out earlier. I put the lines down as he looked at me. Don't worry, my wife says I'm a great kisser. I laughed as an assistant yelled out, let's go. So then came the scene when he ran out of the cabin in the rain and I went after him. When I was running after him, I slipped on a branch and fell and we had to do another take. Finally got it right. And then came the kiss. For a moment, I forgot the characters we were and kissed him for the person that he was in my own skin. It was the most intense on-screen kiss I've ever had. Finally, we were able to finish the movie. We both hugged each other and we didn't see one another again until Oscar night. He was nominated for best male lead in a film. And what do you know? He won. He got up there and gave his speech thank the crew, the producer, the director, and all the writers, shared his love for his wife and family, and right before he got off stage with his trophy, he said, I also want to thank my fellow co-star. He was the reason I actually wanted to pursue acting. I smiled in the audience. That, to me, meant the world.